Hey guys, my name is Matimio, and today I have another episode of Field Test. This is a series where in the comment section you guys let me know what weapon loadout you want me to try in the next video. I pick one of the top three most thumbs up comments and then I put that loadout to the test. Essentially what we're trying to do here is to find loadouts that may have gone under the radar or ones that you want to test out but you just don't have the time to try it out yourself so I will put it through the paces and then report back to you guys on if I liked it or if I disliked it. Uh, but for today, I'm going to be trying out the SKS with the holographic scope and flash suppressor attachment. I'm also going to be using the 93R sidearm with the MAV and spawn beacon. You also recommend here that I use squad cover. I'm not going to pay too much attention to this recommendation because it's all really going to depend on what my squad is using. I think I probably do use it for the most part, um, but really, that, that the, the attachment, or not the attachment, but the specialization slot recommendation isn't really all that important because I'm going to change it regardless of what you recommend based off of uh, based off what's going on on the map. So to be honest, I don't think I had very many kills when I first started testing out this weapon for today's video. I may have had around 15. I remember months ago when I first when I first unlocked the gun, I thought it was just useless. It was a terrible weapon, and I just never wanted to use it ever ever again. So I never did until today, or not really today, but for like the past week. And I must say that it was a huge mistake because in the most recent patch they definitely made this weapon much more effective. And I have to say for the aggressive recon role and for being a, a recon only weapon, this was an absolute treat and blast to use and I was very surprised at how much fun I was having. I mean I really like to play the aggressive recon role. Any of you that have been following my channel for a really long time knows that I really like to use the bolt action rifles up close and personal. I like to play that really aggressive role. And initially, I really didn't think that this weapon setup was going to do it for me. I'm not a huge fan of the semi-automatic rifles like the MK11, so I just had my doubts. But after a couple of rounds and after getting the hang of just the weapon in general, those doubts were quickly crushed. And after I got the hang of it, I was just destroying the enemy team match after match after match. It was so much fun. I was getting first place constantly as an aggressive recon. And as an experienced player who likes to play the recon a lot, getting first place as a recon is not an easy task. And to be able to do that constantly with a recon only weapon was very, very refreshing, especially after the most recent uh, patch with the suppression uh, buff. The recon class, at least in my opinion, has be quickly become the most useless and ineffective class on the battlefield. Even if you do line up a shot with a bolt action rifle, if you are suppressed, the bullet is going to just fly off in a random direction, so you are not going to get that kill. And because you're suppressed, that probably means someone is shooting at you currently, and they're going to take you out before you can get that next shot off. And it just results in a very frustrating and annoying experience. So I've actually been avoiding using the bolt action rifles recently until they change it back Back to where it was previously but to use the SKS and to be at the top of the scoreboard so consistently was first of all very surprising and just a very very refreshing experience so now that you guys know that I'm absolutely in love with this loadout why exactly do I like it so much and the first reason is that it kills extremely fast it's only gonna take you around two to four bullets depending on the distance to your target and it's also going to depend on your accuracy because if you get a headshot, that bullet count is going to be reduced quite significantly. And I found that in most situations, targets were dying way before they could even react. And even for those long range shots, if the target was standing still, like most like most snipers, I could take them out before they could react and get behind cover. Even for moving targets, it wasn't that difficult of a task. Uh, but for the most part, I was going for more medium range shots. You can play this very aggressively and go for for very close you know very close quarter combat but because this is a semi-automatic rifle if you go against an AEK or really any of the automatic rifles they're going to have an advantage on you but that's not to say that you can't take them out because a quick headshot is going to drop them super fast so don't worry too much about that but I did try to tend to go for those medium range engagements because in my opinion that's exactly where the SKS performs best when I would move around the map I would go for three quick shots on a medium range target Target. I know they would drop I would quickly move on to the next target three quick shots They would drop and just kind of proceed from there And I just found it to be a very very effective way at taking out a lot of targets very quickly 
So not only does it kill really fast, but it also has a very large magazine size. And if you're accurate, you can take out four to five targets without having to reload in quick succession. And that is awesome in my opinion. There was a lot of situations where if I was using any weapon, I, would, I knew that I would have to reload with those guns. But because I'm using the SKS and because I'm using every bullet effectively, I can take out, you know, three, four, five guys, no problem, without even having to switch to my sidearm. And that is something that was very, very surprising and something that I really, really enjoyed about this weapon. Uh, as for the attachments, I think that the flash suppressor is a fantastic addition to this weapon. The SKS does have a fair amount of vertical recoil and reducing that uh, with the flash suppressor is always nice. It's going to make it a lot easier to stay on target and take out multiple targets in quick succession. So I think that is a great addition to this gun. I really wouldn't recommend any other attachments for the weapon. You could use a bipod, but I don't like to be that stationary and because the SKS, in my opinion, is a more mobile weapon, you don't really want to be locked down in one position. You can, and it's just going to bring you more options, but it's, it's just really not that necessary uh, for this weapon, at least in my opinion. Uh, one downside, though, of this loadout isn't even the weapon. It's actually the suppression effect. Like I said earlier, since the most recent buff, it, it, it's just very hard to take anyone out when you, you when you are using a sniper rifle in Battlefield 3 when you are suppressed, and the SKS is no different. So as long as you can work around that and you don't play super aggressive and get into situations where you're constantly suppressed and you wait for the suppression effect to fade when you go for a target, the SKS is a very, very enjoyable experience. Uh, but that's it for today's field test guys i hope you enjoyed if you did or you want to just support my channel i would appreciate it give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel for more videos if you would like to submit your own loadout for me to try in my next video you can do so by leaving a comment down below and make sure to also thumbs up the uh, the comments that you guys want me to try in the next video as well but until next time guys have a good one and take it easy